<coughs> ready to go meet this Savior. Amen. 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 Let's talk to the youth class this morning. And we were talking about uh, the bus accident. The children got ran over. And I said, how much more can God take? Lord. I mean, you just think about it. God has to deal with that 24 hours a day. Seven days a week. He gets no breaks. <clears throat> he sees every murder, rape, uh, every lie told, God doesn't get a break. And he's ready to end it. Amen. I think God is tired of suffering. Oh, Lord. He's got to be. Yes. What do you think? Oh, Amen. Man. I think God is tired of suffering. Yes, he is. How many more times can a child suffer before God says it's over? <clears throat> so thank you for the song, sister. Amen. Yes. Right on time. <laughs> I was thinking about seeing my mother again. Amen. Lord have mercy. Amen. One day, folks. Yes, sir. But until then, we got to deal with what we have, right? Amen. Yes. And I get the subject, the time of trouble. What does it say? Amen. You need it. Amen. What? What? <laughs> The time of trouble, what? You need it. need it. Say, I need the time of trouble. I need, I need the time of trouble. I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to prove it to you. <clears throat> but we're going to deal with some of the issues around the time of trouble. This is our prophecy series. I think this is the fourth, fourth sermon in the series. Mm -hmm. So last week, we were looking at the attack of God's church. Prior to that, one of the subjects dealt with present truth, present truth through all ages. Brother Tate dealt with the signs of Christ's coming. And no matter how you look at it, how you orient it, it's all going to culminate in a time of trouble. That's right. Hold on. Right? Amen. Zoe 14.1 says, man is born with a woman. Uh-oh. His life. It's full of trouble. <laughs> That's not just a man, by the way. That's women, too. Your life is full of trouble. Yes, sir. There's a reason. All right. Some of it's God ordained. Some of it is self-inflicted. Amen. If we be honest, yeah. life's cut off. That ain't God's fault. That's right. <laughs> we didn't pay the bill. <laughs> All right, so I want to ask you to pray with me. We got some serious subjects we got to deal with. I'm gonna invite your prayers. I'm gonna kneel. Ask you to pray with me. Lord, the song said soon. We'll be down with this trouble. Yes, my Lord. How much more can we take, Lord? But the real question is, how much more can you take? Father, please. All you do is love us. The world calls you evil. A dictator. Never shows up. But, Lord, we know different. Amen. Father, we're asking you to show yourself powerful today. Please, Lord. Mighty to save. Make it so. Make it so. Lord, many came this morning troubled. Worried. Discouraged. I pray, Lord, that you will change all that. Yes, 
please, Lord. Amen. Lord, your word says by the foolishness of preaching. Mm -hmm. Use this foolish pile of dirt named John Barnett. Mm -hmm. Speak your words. Please, Lord. Pray for the baptism of your spirit. Yes. Right now. Yes. We're claiming it. Not because we can claim it, Lord. That's right. But Jesus said, if we ask, you're more willing to give that to us than we give gifts to our own children. That's good. So we thank thee, Father. And again, Lord, in Jesus' name, bind up the devil. Right now. He's already tried to trouble Roland Samantha and everybody else in this room. But we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. For sin abounded, grace did much more abound. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. It's the time of trouble. You need it. Let's read this together. Can everybody see from the back? You see it? All right, let's read together. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince who stand for the children of our people. And there shall be a what? Time of trouble. Now what? A time of trouble. One more time. A time of trouble. Such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Amen. There's a lot of meat in that scripture. Yeah. No more milk today, friends. <laughs> We're doing steak and potatoes. <laughs> so, I wish I had time to get into all of them. We won't have time, but you guys are going to help me. So, the question is, when does the time of trouble, also known as the tribulation, when does that start? Somebody open your Bible to Daniel 11, and I need you to read verse 40 through 45. All right, somebody, anybody, read Daniel 11, 40 through 45. Can we use the Bible this morning? Amen. Is that okay? Amen. Churches are supposed to use the Bible, right? Amen. The less I speak, the more the word speaks. We're going to be all right. Go ahead, my brother. And say, at that time of the end shall the king of the south push at him. Mm -hmm. And the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind, with chariots and with horsemen and with many ships. And he shall enter into the countries and shall overflow and pass over. He shall enter into the glorious land, and many countries shall be overthrown. But these shall escape out of his hand, even Edom, Moab and the chief of the children of Ammon. He shall stretch forth his hand also upon the countries, and the land of Egypt shall not escape. But he shall have power over the treasures of gold and silver, and over all the precious things of Egypt, and the Libyans and the Ethiopians shall be at his steps. But tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him. Therefore he shall go forth with great fury to destroy and utterly to make away men. And he shall plant the tabernacle of his palace between the seas in the glorious holy mountain. Yet he shall come to his end, and none shall help him. Amen. Wow. Brother, I like how you read. That was beautiful. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Excellent. It starts, the Bible says, at that time, Michael's going to stand up, right? Mm -hmm. The time of trouble is going to start. Okay. The time that is going to start is when the king of the north is wreaking havoc with God's people. All right. Like I said, I don't have time to get into all that 40 through 45. We'd be here for a week. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to make something. Just I just want to give you a little tidbit. Yes. Clear. The king of the north, the Bible classes as the Antichrist, Another name for him is the papacy. Well, 
and chidings out of the north and out of the east are going to trouble that king. Mm -hmm. And he's going to go wreak havoc amongst God's people. Mm -hmm. If you understand Bible prophecy, you understand that the north and the east represent a place where God is. Yes. All right? Yes. yes. Man, I wish I had time. <laughs> so in other words, God's people who have a message called the three angels' message are going to trouble the Antichrist, and he's not going to like it. And he's going to respond. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right now, God is troubling the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. Have you watched the news? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. There's a house cleaning going on. Amen. Mm -hmm. I hope one is going on in your life. Amen. Amen. If there's not trouble now, when do you want it? Mm -hmm. Have mercy. We got to have it. I remember Oscar Sarai used to say, heaven is not a roll paid with flower petals of ease. <laughs> Woe unto them when they speak well of you. Yeah. If nothing but good things are said about you by everybody, on, it's time to pray. Amen. Amen. So the tribulation starts when the king of north is doing his thing. And other events that are taking place at the same time, Jesus' ministry from fallen man has ceased. There's coming an end to grace for the world. Mm. Wow. There will always be grace for God's people, but God's going to cut it off at some point for the world. He's got to end it. Mm. Unfortunately, Jesus is painted like he's some weak, yellow wimp. And you see the pictures and his, his eyes all off and his hair is off. And no. <laughs> the Bible said God is a man of war. Yes. Yes. Come on now. Yes. Along with the love of God is the justice of God. Yes, sir. That's right. And somebody's going to have to pay. Amen. And God is going to have to cut it off. So eventually, Brother Kenny brought out last week, the ministry in the sanctuary in heaven is going to cease. The mark of the beast is in full force. Natural disasters of biblical proportion are taking place. There's financial devastation and political and social unrest. Oh, yeah. Almost sounds like what's going on right now. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. We're close. Yes. We're close. At some point, because you can say, well, I've heard this since I was a child. Mm -hmm. They've been saying Jesus is going to come back since Paul's day. Mm -hmm. But guess what? It's going to happen. Yes, right. sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. Whether I see it or not, that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. That's right. Two plus two is what? Four. Four. Anywhere in the world. That's a fact. <clears throat> Just like Jesus said, I will come again. Amen. So, Thank you, Lord. the Bible says, Michael's going to stand up. Yes. <laughs> the yes. question is, who is Michael? Come on now. That's a good question. Break it down. Break it down, brother. <laughs> Who's Michael? Mm. You know, last week, uh, Brother Kenny put a video up of an apostate brother. I won't even give the devil honor by saying his name. Mm -hmm. But he's spouting all this false doctrine. And I'm sitting there in my chair in the pew saying, would I be able to disprove what he says from the Bible? Yeah, we're all, oh, that brother, he's false. He's... But you get put on the stand. Mm -hmm. Can't you open the word of God mm -hmm. and prove what you believe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Right? There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's it. I won't have my church buddies. <laughs> I can't call up Pastor Seawood. Mm -hmm. It's me and God. Yeah. That's it. And the Bible says to prove all things. I've got to prove who Michael is. Mm -hmm. Right? Amen. Isn't that fair? Yes. Because yes. when Michael stands up, the time of trouble begins. begins. The Bible says in your Bible that you read, Michael is the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. Amen. Oh, don't come back to that. Amen. That's the definition of According to the Bible, what we just read, who was Michael? Y'all with me? Yes. 
Yes. All right. Am I making that up? No. Nope. You read it, right? Okay. Yes. Michael's name means who is like God. Yes, sir. How would you like to have a name that was a question? <laughs> who is like God? Jesus. Is it you? No. Come on now. <laughs> then it gives us something else in Jude chapter 1 and verse 9. It says, Michael is a what? Archangel. Archangel. Okay. Let's go on a journey here. Somebody read Genesis 22, verse 1 and 2, and then verse 10 through 12. Open your Bibles. Read along. Genesis 22. I need somebody to read verse 1 and 2 and 10 through 12. Go ahead, sister. And 10 through 12? Yes. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. Okay, hold on right there, just for a second. According to what you read along with Sister Samantha, who is talking? God. God, right? Are we clear on that? God is talking, right? Amen. And by the way, don't be confused by that word tempt. The Bible says he cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted thee any man. That's right. The original definition of that is test. That's Amen. Right. Thank you. There is no darkness in God. He doesn't tempt anybody. Okay? That's, right. That's the translation thing. Mm -hmm. All right? But who was talking? God. God. Okay, read verse 10 through 12. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him uh -oh. out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon, thy, upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. All right, hold it now. The Bible says Michael was the prince of standing for the children of thy people, right? Mm -hmm. Then it says he's the archangel. Now we have a verse in the Bible which uses the term angel. Uh -huh. But verse 1 said, who was talking? God. 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 And then he said, you have not withheld your only son from me. me. Let's keep going. Y'all with me? Amen. Amen. I'm not making up anything. Exodus 3, verse 2 through 5. Let me have somebody read that. Exodus 3, verse 2 through 5. Have somebody read that for me. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire. Okay, of stop right there. Just one second. Who? Angel, angel of the Lord. Okay, keep going. Out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why this bush is not burnt. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Draw not nigh hither, put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Hold it. Did y'all catch that? Mm -hmm. It said an angel was in the bush. Is that right? That's right. But then it said, God, God called from the bush. Mm -hmm. Are y'all following me? Amen. Are you following me? Let me, let me give you one more example. We can't read the whole thing, but you know the story of Jacob wrestling in the wilderness, right? Amen. All right, somebody read Hosea 12 and verse 4. Somebody read 12 and verse 4. Actually, 2 through 4. Read Hosea 12, 2, two through 4. The Lord hath also a controversy with Judah, and will punish Jacob according to his ways. According to his doings, will he recompense him. He took his brother by the heel in the womb, and by his strength he had power with God. Yea, he had power over the angel and prevailed. He left and made supplication unto him. Okay, this is talking about Jacob when he was wrestling in the wilderness with who Hosea said was the who? The angel. angel. 
-hmm. All right? Now, if you look at what Jacob said, by the way, Jacob was a man of God, right? Amen. Yes. Led and filled with the Spirit of God. Amen. All right. We can believe what he said. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Jacob said, no, no, this isn't Jacob. This is the angel. He said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob, which means supplant. Mm -hmm. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel, for as a prince, thy power with who? God. And with me. Now watch, watch this. Jacob was so inspired, he said, he called the name of the place Peniel, for I have seen who? God, God face to face. face. And what? And my life life is preserved. Is preserved. Let's go backwards. Michael is the prince. That's right. That stands for the children of thy people. He's called the archangel. Amen. But then we see it three times, and there's more examples than that. When God says something twice, it's established, by the way. Amen. That the word angel and God is used interchangeably. Yes. Michael is not an angel. He's the angel of the covenant, Jesus. Yes. He's not a created being. That's a title yes. for Jesus. You got it right. The Rose of Sharon is a title. Yes. The Lily of the Valley is a yes, title. Sir. He's not actually a rose. Right? Amen. But his character is sweet. My Lord. Amen. And this is bringing out an aspect of who Jesus is. Amen. And whenever you see Michael, you see somebody ready to fight. Yes. Yes. Amen. I like having Michael on my side. <laughs> and Jacob said, I have seen God yes, face to face. And, live. and I have lived. Right. <laughs> but the Bible called him a prince. One place calls him the prince. A peace. Yes. Mm. Have you met him? Mm. It's not really what Michael is, who he is. Yes, sir. Have you met Michael? Mm. See, you thought it was you <laughs> when you came up with that money to pay that bill. Mm. And Michael sent the check. Mm. Come on, now. Come on. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> you may have been in a bad relationship and didn't know how to get out of it. Michael delivered you out of that. Look at him. He's a fighter. Yes. <laughs> He's called Messiah, the yes. Prince, the Prince of Light. Revelation 1 5 says he's the Prince of the Kings of the Earth. Doesn't matter how you meet Jesus. Did you meet him? Absolutely. He came to Moses in a bush. That's right. Did Moses meet him? Amen. 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 We've got two young ladies that have met him. Yes. Amen. What about you? Amen. Good question. Have you met him? When he calls, I beg you to answer. Yes. Please answer. So Michael is a title for Jesus. And so back to our verse, it says he's the great prince which stands for the children of thy people. Look at that. What does that mean? You know, in prophecy, everything is symbolic. Okay. All right? You can match symbols up. You can write them down and kind of connect the dots with them. All right? So standing just doesn't mean Jesus was tired of sitting down. <laughs> right? <laughs> Let me give an example here. In Daniel 11, prior, the chapter prior to that, when you read in the context the same word, because context determines definition. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. You understand that? Yes. That's why the English language is so hard to learn sometimes for people that, <laughs> and we were born in this language and still don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> True. So context determines, determines definition. I'm going to ask you a question after we read this. Daniel 11, verse 2 and 3, it says, And now will I show thee the truth. Behold, there shall stand up yet three kings in Persia, and the poor shall be far richer than they are, and by his strength through his riches he shall stir up all against the realm of Grisha. And a mighty king shall stand up that shall rule with great dominion and do according to his will. According to what this is saying, what does stand mean? Represent. Represent. Good, good. To take over to be greater. To take over to be greater, you're getting closer. To make known. To make known, we're getting closer. 
means to rule. Rule. Mm. That's right. These kings shall rule. Mm. All right? Do you follow that? Amen. They're not, the king just didn't come in and stand up. To stand up means to rule. All right? Which kingdom is Jesus ruling right now? You know he's got two. Right? One is the kingdom of grace. Yes. At the cross, he said, it is finished. Oh, my. And Satan knew his kingdom was lost. Mm -hmm. But Jesus had to finish some work up in heaven mm -hmm. dealing with the sanctuary. That's right. Mm -hmm. And right now, he's just going through the names, clearing out the database. Oh, my. <laughs> but when he comes back, He's coming back for his kingdom of glory. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Physically. Mm -hmm. Literally. Visibly. Yes. He's not coming back in your heart or your imagination. That's right. Well. Amen. And so the Bible says, what would you do if somebody was in your house that wasn't supposed to be there? And you were going to take it back. Come on, let's be honest. Right. You're not going to get on your knees and pray. <laughs> oh, Lord, help me. No, no, no. You're going to pray all right. You're going to take action. So when Jesus comes back to take his kingdom back, the Bible says he's coming in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God, that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. He's coming with judgment. That's right. So when the king stands up, not only is he standing to rule, he's standing to execute judgment. Yes. 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 Take charge. Take charge. Yes. Amen. Take One more thing about standing up. I just can tell us this. Mm -hmm. You sit down at the table to negotiate, negotiations break down. No. You stand up. It's over. That's right. It's over. No more talking. It's over. It's over. <laughs> Jesus is saying that to us. When he stands up, it's over. It's, it's done. Everybody who is evil is going to remain evil. Yes. Revelation 22, 11, He that is unjust, let, let him be unjust still. still. He that is holy, let him be holy, holy still. still. That's the cutoff point for everybody. Yes. I'm through negotiating. <laughs> uh -huh. I told the world, come let us reason <laughs> together. Though your sins be as God, they should be white as snow. But they're not listening to me anymore. I'm backing off the negotiation. Yes, so, preach, son. Preach. I'm coming to get my people. Yes, hallelujah. Yes. So Michael standing up is significant of him coming back to take us home. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Amen. My Lord. Praise the Lord. But it says here, let's read it. Such as never was since there was a nation. There's a time of trouble. You might feel like your life has been bad. Mm. <laughs> See, no, we haven't seen anything yet. That's right. The Bible says, such as it never was since there was a nation. Remember the title is, You Need the Time of Trouble. What are you talking about, Barnett? Now, there's some bad folks in history, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Adolf Hitler. Hitler. That's right. He, he was a Christian pastor, wasn't he? What was it? An evil dictator. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. He's responsible for millions. Yes. Simply because he didn't like who they were. Mm -hmm. He went across the board with it. Jews, uh, blacks, uh, Christians. Uh, there's a guy named Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Mm -hmm. He wrote this powerful book. But he talked about, he said when they took the Jews, nobody said anything. Mm. Mm. Then when they came for us, mm -hmm. who was there to talk for us? Friends, we need to stand up like Michael. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Sometimes you just got to lose. Yes. If we got to lose, we just got to lose. I was here this morning, there's some Christian bakers here in Indianapolis. There's some others in Indiana. They lost their business. Because they want to stand the biblical principle of a man and a woman being God's ordained couple for marriage. Yes, sir. Yeah. So they lost their business. Mm -hmm. 
How much are we willing to lose for God? Mm -hmm. Psalm chapter 15 said, He that swears to his own hurt and changes not, yeah. that's who's going into the holy hill of God. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. We have taken an oath with God. You do know that, right? Yes. Yeah. You promised to serve him, to love him with all your heart, mind, and soul. No matter what. Yes. And if we end up losing everything for Jesus, yes. you're going to be all right. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. But it's not going to feel good. Amen. Y'all remember this group here? You know what that is? This is a Rwandan massacre. Hutu and the Tutsis, that's right. There's a really good documentary called Ghost of Rwanda. Yeah. This is stuff you don't hear. There's an Adventist pastor. Yes, right. That had an orphanage. Yes, sir. White. <coughs> that stayed with the blacks. Yes, sir. Risked his whole family. Yeah. Amen. 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 Could have been killed. That's right. But he stood for Jesus. But 800,000 people. Die mm -hmm. by the machete. Mm -hmm. By the machete. Mm -hmm. In the video, you see in the background somebody hacking somebody to death. To them, that was the time of trouble. Hmm. Yeah. Last year, it was Hurricane Harvey. Yes. Two hundred plus billion dollars worth of damage. I bet if you ask those people, that was the time of trouble. Yes, sir. But the Bible says, such as never existed. Yes. Amos gives us an idea. He says, as if a man is free from a lion and a bear man, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. You run from the lion, you meet the bear. You get over the bear, you go to the house as a cobra and wait. Like never was since there was a nation. It's going to be bad, but Christians should expect it. Yeah. Let's read this together. Yay! Yeah. And all that will live God in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. persecution. Yeah. Jesus said it. In the world you shall have what? Tribulation. Tribulation. That's another word for trouble. Amen. This is from the Esther Project. Each month 322 Christians are killed for their faith. 214 churches and properties are destroyed. 772 forms of violence are committed against Christians. And it's escalating. In the 21st century, just these 18 years, yes. between 100 and 160,000 Christians are killed each year. They've estimated between the time of the church and the year 2000, there's been 70 million Christians killed. Most in the 20th century. Mm -hmm. That's a time of trouble coming for you. That's right. We are blessed right here. Some places in the world, we'd be in somebody's house in the basement. That's right. We'd be out in a cave somewhere. Mm -hmm. We'd be in somebody's garage. Because mm -hmm. this would be illegal. Yes, yeah. And it's coming mm -hmm. here. Yeah. So. That's this idea now. I think people get afraid. Oh. And there's this doctrine that has developed that says, we're going to be wrapped for that. Doesn't matter what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I won't be here. <laughs> <laughs> right? right? That's what I've been told. <coughs> Brother, I, I I'm going to be gone in the rapture. My, my clothes, you know, there's even movies, there's a whole industry now yeah. oh, yes. based on yeah, but, but let me let me give you something that Jesus said. You do believe that God answers Jesus' prayer. Amen. 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 Okay, so this is a prayer in John 17. He said, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but you should keep them from the evil. Amen. Now he's talking about the disciples, right? He said, don't wrap them. Keep them there. Keep them there. But you can say, but John, that's just to his 12. No. no. All, 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 all of his huh? Where, where's, where's your Bible for that? Amen. Where's your, where's your <laughs> See? See? <laughs> you getting ahead. <laughs> he said, neither pray for these alone. 
But for them also which shall believe on me through the word. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here. Yeah. Now Is God talking. going to answer that prayer or not? Yes. Yeah. 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 So that means he can't take you out secretly. No. That's right. Amen. Because God never tells his son no. No. Mm. Well. All the promises of God in Christ are yea and amen. 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 But let me tell you, Jesus said this, Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father of the son, and children shall rise up against their parents, and shall cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Look at here. Are you ready for your own child? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You ready for your pastor? Hmm. <laughs> Turn you in. The person you knocked on the door. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. You ready for the man in the pew to hunt you like? Mm -hmm. You see, friends, it's coming close. Mm -hmm. Got to we always think in terms of out there. There you go. Right? Yes. Somebody's going to do me. But if you read your Bible closely, it's always came from the inside. I hate to say it. It's true. But it's the truth. The first one started in heaven. Yes. Lucifer stood next to the throne of God. Did God in. Mm -hmm. Eve. Mm -hmm. Right? right? Mm -hmm. Moses and Aaron. Mm -hmm. Judas and Jesus. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's always close. Yes. Yes. Next to you. So who is your real friend? Mm -hmm. See? Jesus. Mm -hmm. Lord, have mercy. Oh, have mercy. It's so true. It's coming close. It's coming true. I'm going to read from a book by a lady written by Ellen White. For those who don't know, she's a lady, one of the founders of our church, that we believe God gave prophetic uh, ministry to. She says, many a star that we have admired for its brilliance will then go out in darkness. Do you understand that? Our favorite preachers, our favorite theologians, our favorite elders and deacons, We'll cut out on God. Yeah. Make it plain, y'all. Time of trouble. Mm -hmm. I remember a long time ago, maybe I shouldn't say it. I'll say it. Running the streets. Some dudes come up. And we out there playing with fireworks. Mm -hmm. You know those little twisties? Mm -hmm. Do they like whirl around? Yeah. Well, we out there acting silly. One of them almost hits these guys. So here they go. <laughs> yeah, they up. Uh, and it was three of us, three of them. I used to like odds like that. <laughs> Stupid, but but I happened to look back and I saw the bottom of one of my friends feet. Um, <laughs> Headed to the house. You know what I'm saying, Big D? <laughs> ran off. He ran. Gone. And trouble came. <laughs> My friends on an infinite level. When this whole thing hits the band. The people you thought you can count on yes. are going to do you in. Amen. You've experienced it all. <laughs> yes. oh, tell me. You've experienced it already. Nothing new. Amen. Somebody on the Amen. job. Somebody in the family. Mm -hmm. I used to be really naive when the funerals come around that uh, everybody gets close. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I've come to find out people act a fool more in the time of stress yeah, yeah, yeah. Too. Yeah. 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 than they do in the time of peace. Yes, yeah, sir. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to your soul and somebody says, take this mark or die. These stars are going to go out. Oh, the Bible gives us a small depiction. I'm not going to read, have you read the whole thing and run out of time. The experience <coughs> of Israel with Babylon go ahead. is a type of what will happen for God's people in the end time. Mm -hmm. 
All right? And there's a lot of these parallels in the Scriptures. As Paul said, these things were written for an admonition upon whom the ends of the world come. We're supposed to learn from it. All right? If you don't learn from the past, you're doing to repeat it. Amen. That's why we need to study. Amen. All right? Amen. So I want somebody to read verse 6 and 7, though. Somebody read verse 6 and 7. Jeremiah 30, verse 6 and 7. We're coming to talk to me. 6 and 7, y'all there? Yes, sir. Yes. It says, As ye now, and ye see whether a man does travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his lawns as a woman in travail? And all faces are turned into paleness. Mm. Alas, that that for that day is great, great, so that none is like it. <coughs> it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he, he shall be saved. saved. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I love it. <laughs> you know, the Bible sometimes write the, writes these. Uh, Dichotomies, these paradoxes. Go ahead. It's got a, a, a talking about a man with his hands on his womb like a woman. Mm -hmm. Travail. Travailing means labor. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. Now, ladies, you got one up on us? Yeah. I don't know what that's like. <laughs> I never Amen. will. Amen. <laughs> but the Bible says that time is going to be like the birth pains yes, of labor. When I had my second son, where's my wife? Third, second, first, second, one of them. <laughs> you know, ladies, they, yeah, I'm all mixed up. <laughs> they put you on this, uh, what's that thing called? They stick in your back, the uh, epidural. Come on, come on. <laughs> and it numbs the pain in your body, right? Well, Sometimes they don't get that to you in time. Right. And they can't do it. Amen. And there was a lady there who was having twins. Oh. And they couldn't give her the epidural. Oh. And the door was closed. But she was screaming so loud. It was like the door was open. And the Lord brought to my mind. Uh -huh. Travail. Yeah. Women in travail. My friends, we have never screamed like that. We have never ate like that spiritually. When everybody forsakes Jesus, except you, we haven't known pain and torture on that level. That's right, Elvis. Because we know when they leave, that's it. That's it. That's Jacob's trouble. Let me give you one more insight, though. I'll give you a couple more. Genesis 32, it brings out, this is another type of what's going to be taking place right before the end, right at the time of trouble. Jacob went back to his homeland. You remember that? Yeah. And how did he end up leaving in the first place? He did his brother in. Yes, sir. It was his sin. He deceived his brother and his father. His mother was in on a conspiracy. Yeah. And he had to leave. And Esau said, I'm going to kill him. God said, it's time to go back. Guess what came to his mind? His brother was going to kill him. And he sent messengers out. Yeah. That's right. Come to find out, there's 400 men coming yeah. mm -hmm. to do him in. Mm -hmm. I don't like those kind of odds. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jacob then <coughs> gets alone. <coughs> and he gets with God. And the Bible records a powerful event. Mm. And it's this man, the angel, who read about it. That start wrestling with Jacob all night. Yeah. <laughs> There's some tough people now. Um, but they were tough. There's some big, strong, like Dwayne the Rock Johnson people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
But even he can't wrestle all night That's right. with God. Can't do it. What was the last time you wrestled? Mm. What was the last time I wrestled all night no. for Jesus? Mm -hmm. For somebody else. Mm -hmm. But Jacob was dealing with his own sins. He came in humility. Lord, I'm claiming your promises. You yes. promised that yes. you would make me a great nation, that you would call me yes. back. Mm -hmm. But my sins got me in this place. Go ahead. He was worried about his connection. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then this bean touched his thigh and let him know who he was. Yeah. Woo. Have mercy. And after that, instead of fighting, he held on. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Now, friends, this was powerful. Yes. Because Michael was telling him, let me go. Yeah. And he said, no. Nope. Let you go. Not to you what? Bless, Bless me. me. Bless me. Bless me. Now, listen, y'all. Listen. This is deep. It said, had Jacob not previously repented of his sin and attained the birthright by fraud, God could not have heard his prayer and mercifully preserved his life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yeah. So in the time of trouble, if the people of God had unconfessed sins to appear before them while tortured with fear and anguish, they would be overwhelmed. Despair would cut off their faith, and they could not have confidence to plead with God for deliverance. Mm. But while they have a deep sense of their unworthiness, they will have no concealed wrongs to reveal. Watch this. It says here, their sins have been blotted out by the atoning blood of Christ, and they cannot, what? Bring them to remembrance. Hallelujah. Listen, friends, right now when we pray, the devil is always reminding you of how bad. He sure is. What you did in the past, maybe you did it last night. Yes. And he's bringing those images. Yes. But one day, he got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Jesus said, The prince of this world cometh and hath yes. nothing, nothing in me. Yes. Yes. So yes. it may be with us. Yes. yes. It's not our strength, friends, it's God's. Amen. Yes. It's not us that wipes our minds clean, it's Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Brother Writers, page 71, very solemn. Oh, how many I saw in the time of trouble without a shelter. Mm. They had neglected the needful preparation. preparation. Listen now. Those who refused to be hewed by the prophets, which is the word of God, and failed to purify their souls and obey the whole truth, and who are willing to believe that their condition is far better than it really is, yes. another name for Laodicea, mm -hmm. Will come up to the time of the fall of the plagues and then see that they need oh, to be doing the square of mm -hmm. Have mercy. There will be some, there will be many mm -hmm. that think they're okay with God. Mm -hmm. And they're not. Mm -hmm. My friends, if if I still have hatred in my heart for somebody, yes. I'm not okay with God. That's right. That's right. If I can't forgive my brother or sister, I'm not okay with God. Tell it. God said, if you can't forgive, I won't forgive you. There are many who are sitting in churches every week without the covering of Jesus. Lord have mercy. They're going through the forms, but they don't have the power of God. And that just is without hope. There's a man on the street. I saw that none could share the refreshing. That is the final right part of the Spirit. Unless they obtain the victory over every besetment. Over what? Pride. Pride. What else? Selfishness. Selfishness. What else? Love, Love of the world. world. What else? Every wrong word and action. <laughs> Woo. Lord, have mercy. That's a total person. What can I say? That's serious. That's why we wrestle with Jesus. Amen. I can't tell you how bad you are. Ain't even my place. That's right. But Jesus can. Yes. Amen. He can peel back all the layers, layers. of brokenness, yes. the pain, the hurt, the oh anger God. that we have in our hearts and deal with it. Mm -hmm. Amen. But if we don't allow him to do it, he's the perfect gentleman. That's right. They say, let him who is unjust be unjust. Mm -hmm. They don't want my grace. I'm going to let you have your decision. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. It's going to be found out before it's all over how good mm -hmm. God is. Yes, Amen. 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 Even the devil is going to kneel. Yes. And yeah. said, just and true in our ways. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. Satan is going to acknowledge it. Mm -hmm. So, friends, it's time to get the victory over what? Evil. Every 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 Pride. Pride? Pride. Do yeah. you know pride is exalted? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Football player yeah. makes a, a little <coughs> play. This is chess. Mm -hmm. Not me. Don't. <sighs> right? We love it. But it done crept in the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Too sir. scared to tell the man up front he needs to quit sleeping around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Too afraid. Because oh, of pride. Yeah. Selfishness. Mm -hmm. Every wrong word and action. Yes. That's what God hates, by the way. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Revelation 12, 1. Good news. <clears throat> and all this time, when everybody's going crazy, when the king of the north is doing his thing, when the stars are bolting from Jesus, left and right, the Bible says that people shall be delivered. Hallelujah. Everyone that shall be found in the book. Yes, sir. Mm. Who's going to be delivered? Everyone that's found in the book. Is this just deep thinking? Uh, if you're not in the book, you're not part of this people. Mm -hmm. There's come a blotting out time, folks. Yes, sir. Well, <coughs> well Jesus is just going to say, he don't love me no more. Mm -hmm. I pleaded with him. Look at what he did for Judas. When he first saw him, Jesus knew, this is the man who's going to do me in. But all he did was just love him to death. And then he said, you know, this is just my imagination. He's a thief. So I'm going to put him in a position in my church to help him see himself. Make him the treasure. <laughs> it's going to be hot in Genesis' corner. Mm -hmm. What more could Jesus have done for him? Nothing. But his name's not in the book. Definitely. You know, the Bible says that the whole world is one after the beast whose names are not found written in the book of the Lamb's mm -hmm. name before the foundation of the world. Yes, sir. The key is to get in the book. Mm. Yeah. The second key is to remain there. Yes. Amen. But the sermon, man, the sermon title is The Time of Trouble, You we Need It. Mm -hmm. John, you just told us all this stuff, wrestle with Jacob, how bad it's going to be. <laughs> and you saying I need all that? Well, yes. All right, we're coming to a close. I want you to read it. Read it. But, but it is evil for them to be placed in the mercy of God. Uh oh. It's needful for God to baptize you with fire. Amen. There's three baptisms, friend. Right? There's one by water. That's gonna happen today. Amen. 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 There's one by the Spirit. Yes, sir. Amen. Did you get that one too? Yeah. But then there's one by fire. Yes. We don't like that. <laughs> I know what's been preached. When you come to Christ, kumbaya. <laughs> You're going to get paid. Your life is going to get better. You get a nice fancy suit and cars and stuff like that. Did you read the scriptures? No. <laughs> you shall be hated. You shall be hated of all nations. Oh, Say, Jesus even said, "If you lose all this stuff for me, Mark chapter nine, I think, you lose all this stuff for me." He said, "You get it back a hundredfold." But you know what he said? With persecution. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what it takes. That's what it takes. See, we don't like that part about Christianity. Mm -hmm. But you read history. People were thrown to the lion. That's right. Flayed and quartered. Mm -hmm. Burnt at the stake. Mm -hmm. 
Their tongues were gouged out. They put in the iron Mary and dropped into the river. Mm -hmm. But Jesus. Yeah. God didn't do it. But he's going to allow pressure on his people. Why? Because of my earthliness. That's not sin. At this point, it's too late. If you sin it, it's over. Earthliness means secular, temporal, mortal, earthly, terrestrial, worldly, mundane, referred to that which is concerned with the earth, literature, or figurative. Whoa. Look at this. Whoa. Whoa. Misspelled. <coughs> Other concern with material values or what? Ordinary, Ordinary life. life. See, we actually like this world, don't we? Oh. Come on. Oh, Nothing wrong with family? Oh, yeah. Is that right? Mm. Little kids playing? Who wouldn't want to see that? The beautiful, majestic mountains that God, out, that God out, has out here. All the little holidays that we have together. But all those, we're going to end up hating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There will be nothing in this world that you would like anymore. That's right. And God is going to allow the fires of persecution to burn any tie out of your heart sure. to the world. Yeah. Remember Jesus said it. Your own children are going to do you in. Mm -hmm. You can lose your soul because of your children. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'm going to fix this forever. i got to purge the earthiness out of it. Mm -hmm. One preacher described it as, you got a cake in the oven. And then right before it comes out, you brown it a little bit. You get it to perfection. Mm -hmm. It's like when I cook my fried potatoes, mm -hmm. I put a little stank on them is what I call yes, it. Yes. A little brown, a little black on them. You know, get some, uh, some crunch or some. <laughs> but your spirit, spiritual experience has to burn yes. all vestiges yes. of this world out of your life. You know, the Bible Absolutely. says that. I have not seen you there heard. You have entered the heart of man. The things you got to prepare for them to love you. You won't care about this world. When you see the glory. It's a trick. There's it's not enough money in this planet. <coughs> to give you what Jesus has for you. Mm -hmm. And my friends. He's coming. He's coming back. Time of trouble or not. Jesus is coming. Right? Ready or not. We used to play that game back in the day. Last night, night before, 24 robbers at my door. Right? Then you count it backwards. Ready or not, here I come. That's what Jesus is saying. He's screaming it from heaven. Last night. Oh, oh, 24 rounds. Mm -hmm. You got sin in your life. Mm -hmm. I am not here. I come. Mm -hmm. It's got to go. And we used to go out and look for them, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we would hide all these different places behind the trees and the shed. Yeah. That's Jesus. <clears throat> He's seeking us out right now. Because he knows it's humble. Jesus is thirsty for you. <clears throat> he won't let us rest and be lost. We'll have to tell him, no! <coughs> I want the world. But the Bible says, give me what? Jesus. Can we pray right now? Yes. Father, we don't have to be worried about the time of trouble. Well, if we're in the book, Jesus, you said all that come to you, you will in no wise cast out. Yes, Lord. What an awesome Savior. You even tell us what things are coming, Lord, so that we can get prepared. Yes, Lord. 
and it is you that has to purge pride, selfishness, yes, and evil out of our hearts. It's you that has to take the love of the world yes. out of our hearts, Lord. Today, Lord, there's a baptism. Your word says all heaven rejoices over one sinner that repents. There's actually two. Father, as we're praying, we're pleading for the Holy Spirit right now. Yes. Yes, sir. Please. Soon I will be done with the troubles of this world. Yes. No more crying. No more sorrow. No more tears. No more death. No more pain. But Jesus, we know we have to go through some things. We're asking you to be with us. So, Lord, we're opening the church now. We're appealing. We're appealing. Please be in prayer, church. <clears throat> oh, Lord, have mercy. If somebody is feeling the call of God today, you don't know for certain. But you can be sure God is calling you. Raise your hand if you want to give your heart to Christ. Raise your hand. You're not sure. Appeal. Maybe you haven't been baptized. You want to go all the way with Christ. Come join me down front. If Jesus is talking to you, doesn't matter how you look, doesn't matter who's looking or not looking. You're making a decision for Christ. Him and Him alone. This day is not a coincidence. Last night, the night before, those robbers called sin, selfishness, problems are at your door. But Jesus is coming to look for you. Pacific appeal. Never been baptized. If you want to go all the way with Christ, I'm joining you down front. That countdown is going. Sooner or later, he's going to say, Ready or not? people are in the book. They're not just delivered then. They're delivered daily. Yes, yes. Call upon me, says, in a day of trouble. That's right. I will deliver you, says God. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Father, we we'll just hold on a little longer. Jesus. Now we got a baptism, Lord. time of trouble right now. They need your help, Lord. And in Jesus' name, Jesus name. we ask you to send the help. Please. Lord, I've done what you asked me to do. Now, 
now, Lord, those in the valley. Wrestle with them, Father. That their name may be written in the book of life. Make it so. Make it so, Lord. We praise you, Lord, for the two soldiers. Amen. That are standing Mercy. at your call. Yes, Lord. We thank thee in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.